You're back. Good timing. I've just about reached the conclusion. You took quite a while. Did you get held up on the way back? Time for the results. We got a myriad of data today, and it was very difficult to finish all the research in one go. But the integral preliminary conclusion that I can offer you is... you're very much like a human from this world. You couldn't tell that just by looking? We spent all day working our butts off for that?! Please, I understand that this may have seemed self-evident to you, but in fact, nothing in this world should be taken for granted. Have you ever considered that the world of Tevat may have a natural hostility to Outlanders? I mentioned the natural laws of this world. You're able to converse with me here without consequence, and nothing seems amiss. But it's arguably a small miracle. The only other life form that, like you, has come here from afar is the seed that I mentioned. Under the effects of Tavad's natural laws, it isn't even able to sprout, let alone bloom. But after I observed you, I had another idea. Imitating you helped to inspire my alchemy. And so... Whoa! It looks like something's appearing! The transition from nothing into something, from shoot to stem, and now to fruition. Is not nurturing otherworldly life also nurturing the world itself? <sighs> it would seem that that's as far as we go. A transient bloom of incomparable beauty. Life's proudest achievement. Paimon thought with all our efforts, it might have bloomed forever. And it didn't even have any fruit. Life is a manifold tapestry of free entities. Its value shouldn't derive from how long it stays with us. Even a momentary burst is precious. A short life can be well lived. A life lived efficiently, lived to perfection, is necessarily one unburdened by loneliness. So, do you understand what I meant about us conversing here arguably being a small miracle? Albedo, Paimon really wants to be your friend. Thank you both. Even if dispelling loneliness is not essential for life, it certainly doesn't hurt. Your help inspired me to discover the means to make a flower bloom. I mean that the time I've spent traveling with you in the mountains was a valuable journey for me. In the future, if the need arises, can I solicit your help again? Well, glad I can count on you. I made a point throughout of telling him how ordinary the results were. But what was that sediment I saw forming at the bottom of the vial? It should not have been there. What could it mean? Those born of earth are bound by its imperfections. But those born of chalk are free of impurities. You and I are alike, both composed of a substance that has yet to be fully defined. If, one day, I lose control, destroy Mondstadt, destroy everything, can I rely on you to stop me? <laughs> <laughs> 